Hey there guys, I'm Danks564 and this continuation for Let's Play of Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords. And here we have Kreia, apparently. I have felt a disturbance. Our enemy is here. We must leave at once. Um, enemy? The one that fired upon the Ebon Hawk as we attempted to rescue you. And he will not let us go without blood being shed. Uh, wait, who is this enemy? The story is a long one, and time is short. Come, we must go, and quickly. All right, let's go. We need to make our way to the docking area on this level. I fear the airlock has already opened, and if so, we must be on our guard. If we cannot reach the Ebon Hawk, then we must find a way to escape on the ship that has docked here. And Kray has joined our party. I hear you. Which is pretty nice, because I think she's a uh, pretty decent Jedi as well. Let's go for wisdom with her again. She has pretty damn good stats. Now let's go with uh, with wisdom. As for skills... Kraya. You have stealth? Why do we need stealth for it? Kraya, come on. Okay, let's go for stealth. If she needs to stealth, she needs to stealth. Who am I to uh, argue? And go for treat injury, okay. Oh, we, we, yeah, we need to. One more. Awareness, sure. Powers. Force lightning. Good. Accept. And one more? Really? Okay, go for repair. Why not? Actually, no. No. Uh, let's go for awareness, stealth, and uh, let's go for demolitions. She might like, disable a mine somewhere, somehow. Eventually. Who knows? Everything's possible. And... Uh, Go for some sort of a buff, I don't know. Or debuff. Okay, good enough. And let's equip Leia. Oh, uh, Leia. <laughs> Kraya. <laughs> she has some clothing. Demolitions. Yeah, sure. Energy shield. Sure. Paragus mining shield. Sure. Mm, by the ma mask, sure. Reflex package, here we go. Insulated gloves. And... Uh, here is a viable cutter, why not? Well, didn't we have, like, gloves or something that uh, gave us... Additional... Oh, well... No, um... Oh, this one. Computer used demolition security. We don't do don't have anything trained in that, so I think we'll just give it to Kreia. And where do we need to go? We need to go all the way back. Okay. And I believe we're gonna have to fight some more. Because there will be like hidden Sith assassins. Yep, there they are. Aiton should be there somewhere. So we're gonna take him as well. More firepower, more fun. 
What in space is going on? Who's this? Another Jedi? What, did you guys suddenly start breeding when I wasn't looking? <laughs> hmm. Eden, there is no time to explain. Grab a wet bun and follow me. Uh, alright. I'm guessing that Republic ship that just docked isn't carrying friends of yours. I hope your talent for understatement is offset by your skill with a blaster. If not, then I fear our time together will be short indeed. Oh. Yeah, and I'm also good at running and drinking, Your Majesty. And even if you two aren't big friends of the Republic, that warship's the only way off this station. Good. Good thing we have a clear run to the ship. Threat. Master, perhaps I did not enunciate clearly the last time we spoke. I suggested that you should shut down, stay put, and wait for rescue. You stupid droid. Uh, no, you were clear, I just don't listen to assassin droids. <laughs> I like that one. Clarification. Assassin and droid is such a crude term, Master. Reserved for Durasteel drones uploaded with only the most archaic kill programs. The function I perform has been referred to as wanton slaughter. I prefer to see it as a means of facilitating communication, resulting in the termination of hostilities. <laughs> uh, you are the one who killed all the miners in the medical bay. I think he killed more than just people in the medical bay. Indignant answer, master. The miners intended to place you in jeopardy. I could not allow that to take place, so I was forced to negotiate a termination of hostilities. After reprogramming the mining droids to mine any organics they perceived, they began to kill the miners one by one. Then a series of flawlessly timed explosions drove the miners into their dormitories where I was able to gas them all at once without wasting time hunting them through the mining tunnels. I then administered a large dose of sedatives to the remaining miners in the med bay, enough to kill them, but ensure you slept peacefully. Of course, against my calculations, you awaken from your tank prematurely. I am ashamed by the inconvenience that caused for both of us. Oh, poor you. Why did you want to capture me? Sir, it is beyond the scope of my programming to probe the motivations of my clients, Master. Suffice to say that I am being well compensated for my services. You have been a difficult target to find. You have been wandering the galaxy since the end of the Mandalorian Wars, leaving little record of your passage. It is as if you did not wish to be found by hunters such as myself, or more likely, the Jedi Order. So, who is this client of yours? Chiding answer. My programming renders me incapable of revealing the identity of my client, Master. However, I am free to say that my client is wealthy and very interested in possessing the last of the Jedi. Uh, someone now. Are you going to kill me? Answer. No, Master. Killing you was never the intention. If you resist my attempts to return you to your Kalto tank, however, I may inadvertently fracture your skeleton in several places to incapacitate you. Uh, enough of this. You won't take me a lot of fight. Resignation. Very well, Master. If inflicting pain is the only means to resolve this matter, then you leave me no choice. Oh, you sneaky, sneaky bugger. But... We have people to help us with this. And Kreia. Would you kindly... Shock this thing. And you... Attributes, uh, go for dexterity because you're mostly shooty kind of person. Even though he, spoiler alert, he will be. A, it will be possible to make him a Jedi. Well, not a Jedi, I don't think, but uh, you know what I mean. 
But for now, we'll get dexterity of his to, like, 18, first of all. And then we'll see. Oh, demolitions, cool. Stealth and security, cool. That's all we need. And demolitions, sure. Okay, good enough. Security and stealth, sure. As for feats, sneak attack. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, it's mostly be using blasters, so... This critical strike. Where is... Oh, we need... Oh, we need... Yeah, let's take Rapid Shot. I like Rapid Shot because it's actually pretty good. And you just throw a grenade somewhere in here. And then you, like, forest this one. And, uh, Kreia. I hear. Okay, that was much easier than expected. Shock this one. Then probably... Just throw a grenade there. And you... Open fire. You... I will try to use this one. How about... Stun droid? Kreia, how about you do... Uh, yeah. Push. Of course, push him. Good. And something like this. And you do something like this. Okay, and Aiton. How about sniper shot? Then more of this. I mean, you can you can do the whole thing like this. I mean, he'll not be able to shoot you anyway, right? Oh, come on, just die already. Cool. Is he dead? He's dead. What does he have? HK Vocabulator, which is nice, considering we're gonna... ...be able to repair the HK-47 with that. Uh, no. It's here. Heal yourself. Okay, and we need to go to here, I believe. Or to here. To here, I think. Right? Yep, docking port is right over there. Well, let's, let's check. It's quite easy to check, actually. Yeah, we're gonna need to go there. That was a waste of power, actually. Burst of speed, uh, that was useless. Considering that it like messes up the screen completely and utterly. Something is wrong. I sense no one on board. You sense no one on board? Sense any assassin droids creeping up behind us like last time? Everyone here has been slain, yet there are few signs of battle. No carbon scoring, no blast of fire. This place has been hit by assassins of a different sort. Then what are we doing on this ship? We were better off in the facility. You two are supposed to be Jedi? You two are the worst Jedi I've ever <laughs> met. Maybe you would like to go back into your cell. Maybe I would. At least I was safe there. We cannot go back into the facility. If the assassin machine was correct, then we cannot reach the hangar. Be silent. I need some time to think. I saw this vessel when it dark. When it did, a fuel pipe entered the fuel depot behind the force field. Look, I don't mean to cast another shadow on this, but even if you could reach the ship you came in on, it wouldn't matter. You'll need the orbital drift charts to clear the Paragus asteroid field, unless you want to have the shortest flight out of Paragus ever recorded. Then how the, did this ship dock? Well, of course they have the asteroid drift charts in their Navi computer. They'd have to. 
so let's uh, get their codes then. Then we can worry about the reaching Eben reaching Eben 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 Hawk. Well, we'd have to get to the bridge. I mean, well, that's the biggest problem I can see. That is a sound plan for the moment. Let us go. Okay. The higher is influence with our company, the more alignment affects uh, my alignments affects theirs. Extreme high and low influences with the companions can open up additional dialogue choices. Okay. Our enemies gather while there are benefits here. to both, by the way. Aiden's plans were the good one. Let's head to the bridge and get the drift charts. All right. But this won't end well. Trust me. Okay. Um, by the way, Kreia, you don't need that. You take that. And you, you know, take cardio regulator. While Aiden... Take that. Um, energy shield, sure. And safety harness. Good. What do you have here? Mining lasers. How about uh, this advanced mining laser? Good enough. What do we have here? Uh, wait, 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 wait. We can open it. No. We don't need to bash everything now. We have a person to do that for us. Uh, so. I wonder in which direction... Oh, the assassins, okay. And we right, like, bumped right into one. Well, let's focus one, like, in the front first, because why not? Hmm. Do want to... Eh, let's just shock them. First of all, and then you can... I know, go attack them. And Aiden, just rapid-fire the guy. Yeah, that'll be good enough. Oh, that's all. Okay, what is it was easier than expected, really. And why don't we force push that guy? A ten. Focus fire. I hear you. They're not very good, really. Like pretty bad, actually. <laughs> the the droids were more, you know, more of a threat than this guys. Briefing room, com room, room console. What do we have here? Check the briefing logs. Course change. We've been diverted from Onderon to the outer rim. There's not enough ships out there, and we're already hard pressed to keep patrolling the regions under our jurisdiction. I'm afraid we're going to lose it all. There's just not enough ships and too much territory to cover. We're still rebuilding from the war with Malak, and sometimes I wonder if we'll ever recover. Still, we have our orders, and the Republic's put the highest priority on this mission. Looks like the trouble on Onderon will have to wait. Passenger transport? Aboard, we've picked up the passengers from the outer rim and have made quarters for them. Once aboard, we've plotted a course for Telos. We expect to arrive within ten standard days, provided there's no mishaps. I've been ordered to give the passenger no special treatment, nor make any indication of her identity. I have some reservations about turning the Harbinger into a passenger liner, but the orders were clear. Whoever this passenger is, she's got diplomatic level priority, whether she knows it or not. Okay. Uh, distress signal? We picked up a distress signal and are sending a message to the Republic for permission to investigate. We have also transmitted the damaged vessel's ID signature to the Republic. According to the message, it's being pursued by Sith forces. There is no match for the vessel in our data banks, but the profile of the distress signal suggests it's a stock freighter of some kind. We'll only know for sure when we arrive, and we'll find out if the signal's genuine or a trap. 
Okay, and priority override. We wanted to check with you, sir, before diverting course from Telos. There appears to be some battle that has taken place in the sector, and we've received a distress signal. You have permission to divert course, Captain. If there's a Sith presence in the region, I want you to investigate. The ID signature on the freighter, did you get confirmation on it? Yes, sir. We did not have the vessel listed in our data banks, so we transmitted the code to you. Was there a match? There was, Captain. If you find any trace of that vessel, even wreckage, I want it. Yes, sir. After you've investigated the sector, resume course to Telos with the passenger. It is of the highest importance that she reach Telos. Yes, sir. I'll make sure she arrives intact. Good hunting, Captain. Admiral Nassi out. <sighs> Sometimes I wonder if the right hand of the Republic knows what the left hand is doing. I'm always being kept in the... D Query. You sent for me, Captain. Yes, I need you to check on the passenger again, see if there's anything she needs. Try not to be too obvious about it. Her safety is our top concern. Statement. I shall use the utmost discretion, Captain. As always, it is my pleasure to serve. So, Carson's the Admiral now. If you don't know, by the way, he was one of the companions from the first game. What do we have here? Some credits. I don't remember in which direction the uh, the bridge is. Is it here? Ah, uh, yeah, probably. Oh, there are some people here. Karth, why don't you kill that person? And you... Ah, uh, no, slow that down. Oh, there's somebody behind us. Let's shock that guy. Oh, and we really need to change our weapon. Okay, this one is down. Let's finish off that guy. Karth. Yeah, you just killed that guy. And... Yes. Let us end this. Uh, that was kind of fast. They're ne not really good assassins, you know. I would expect to have expected more of them. A stealth enhancer. Okay, good. I guess. Safety harness. And let's put the stealth enhancer. It gives plus one to strength. Oh, it's strength enhancer, not stealth enhancer. I don't think he needs st strength, though. Because, well, he's mostly... Dexterity-based character. And Mandalorian melee shield. Yeah. We'll figure it out later. For now, we don't need that all that much. Well, ex actually, against those guys, it might be useful. What do we have here, by the way? Escape pods, and that's... To the creek quarters. Do want to go to the creek quarters? Let's let's check all the other areas first. Will we be able to blow this up? Nope. Let's check what have we have on the other side then. Did we check this box? Nope, we didn't. Energy shield, good. So... Oh, that's the bridge. Okay, yeah, we're gonna have to do th stuff here anyway. Nav computer. Uh, Karth, you. do you have... You have the skills, right? For, like, slicing and stuff. Where are his skills? Uh, your computer use is four. Okay. Demolition, stealth. You have security and I believe demolitions, but you don't have any computer skills. 
do. You don't have any computer skills as well. Yeah. Well, Garth has, uh, not Garth, Aiton has uh, the thingy magic. Oh, well, let's slice it. Why not? Download and yeah, we already checked that. Let's get the hell out of here. Light combat armor, interesting. Uh, who wants it? Would be a good idea to give it to us, like this light combat armor. Is it light? Yeah, that's light. Yeah, let's take it and we'll give uh, Kreia this uniform. I hear you. And uh, next door. So these are escape pods, I believe, right? Yeah, this will lead us to escape pods. But first, some assassins. Let's throw them a grenade there. Do have them in the back. And let's throw them a grenade here as well. Kroya. Yes. Say the word. Uh, just use your force. And you. Why can you not. Oh! This armor blocks. Blocks force powers. Okay, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll give it to. We'll give it to. What's his name? Garth. Aitan. Whatever. Not a shot. Okay, so new plan. Kreia, give me back my suit. We're not in combat. I hear you. What the hell? Aiton, grab the combat suit. Good. What's behind blessed door number one? And it can cannot be opened. Okay. What do we have here? Is it the escape pods? It will lead us to escape pods, but first we're gonna loot the place. Good. Anything in here? I hear you. Would you kindly open the box? Okay, get items. And do we have anything here? Nope, doesn't look like it. And then open the door. Let's see what we have here. Breathing mask. And reaction system. Is it reaction system is one of the those? Nope. Actually, it's something different. It requires constitution of 16, but gives three dexterity, which is pretty damn nice. I believe Kreia can actually equip it. Oh, good for her. Let's see what we have here. More assassins. And Aiton. There was another one somewhere here. Well, I know. I I Graham. Will you force push this guy, please? And Aiton. Let's kill the guy. You force this guy. 
good. And uh, the guy here. Yeah, shrug him. Why not? Cool. Anything that can be useful here? Nope. They're all dead. And did leave anything? Absolutely nothing. Escape pods. Escape pods can be not be used, but there is a plus tool box here. With the repair kit. The ship in the first part, by the way, was completely... Completely, exactly. Was exactly like this, from what I remember. It's just we needed to get from crew quarters to th through the bridge and to the escape pods. Now we need to go back to the crew quarters instead. And we didn't, like, find anything all that useful, with the exception of the uh, computer mm, asteroids flowchart or something like that. And at the bridge, so we could have just gone straight here, I think. And I believe uh, T3 droid, he downloaded stuff from the uh, from the main computer. So that's a thing. What do we have in here? A cylinder. Okay. And anything useful here? Yes, indeed, we do. I hear you. Have something here. Lauren implant. What's that? And the question is, can we use it? Ah, okay, why not? Um... Okay, good. Are you all right? This warm my quarters. This is your room? When? Before I lost consciousness and woke up on Paragus. We do not have much time. Whatever you intend to do, do it quickly. Okay, let's loot it. Do we have a lightsaber here, I wonder? Armband, uh, data pad. You are requested to report to Harbinger Medical Bay for a routine examination. The routine is automated. Simply insert this data chip, data pad, into the medical computer to receive your injections. Okay. Was that how, how they, like, disabled this or something? And there was, a uh, armband. Plus one to constitution. Okay, let's let's like equip it. Why not? Yep, there they are. And shoot this guy. You. Do that. I do you work. Okay, this one is dead. Let's kill that one first. And let's kill this guy. Everyone down. And we'll level up. Great. So skill wise. Let's increase repair quite a bit. That's good. As for fits, for focus improved, eh, who cares? I don't want to focus on this, like, uh, skills too much with her because we'll get the lightsaber, but, lightsaber, right? And we'll mostly be using force powers. about we take uh, 
I don't want any of that. Regenerate force points. Yeah, that will definitely be useful. Especially for our class, who's mostly force based class. We can transfer our health into force powers. Uh, force powers, force points. I don't think I want to do that just yet. Disable droid, maybe? Uh, drawing life, we don't have level 9 for that. Force barrier. Mm. Let's go for force heal. Oh, one more. Okay. Battle medication. Plus two to attack rolls. Plus two to damage rolls. To all the party members. It also increases the vitality point regeneration rate for the party. Actually, that's pretty damn good. Quite a good buff, really. So where do we need to go? Oh, right. Let's let's check the other room, by the way. That we didn't check. I hear you. Let me take care of this. Can't you do that. Stuck. Okay. Let's just open it. The hard way. Just say the word. Aiden, what do we have here? That's all. Like for so such a security, securely locked room, I would expect there would be something, something interesting. But no, apparently not. Okay, what do we have here? More rooms. Oh, medical bay. That's where we want to need to. We want to go because we were told to use the medical console and thing like that. Attempt to get chemical from insert a data pad. Check the treatment request river temp. Said if administered during the routine examination 3.5 days ago. Emergency right enacted. Yep. We were administered delayed sedative that would kill a normal human being. That must be what rendered us unconscious. Good. Identify call to tank. Um, I guess it's the one she's looking at. Behind us to the left, okay. Medical logs. Something's wrong. Ever since we picked up that Sith firefight in the region, crewmen haven't been reporting for their shifts, and I can't reach people on the comm. The strange thing is, I keep feeling like someone's watching us here in the ship, but I can't see anyone. I don't like this. Sith survivor. We're checking the survivor from the Sith vessel. I'm not sure whether he's alive or dead, or what's even keeping him together. His flesh is cracked and scarred, and I'm registering several thousand fractures in his skeleton, as if each bone was splintered repeatedly over time, then put back together. Judging from the scar tissue, I believe these wounds took place before his death. If so, he must have been in constant pain. I have no idea what's been keeping him together. Like, they know he is Sith, right? And... Uh... They know that Sith are dangerous. How, how about, like, put a knife through his heart and multiple times, preferably? This is the medical officer. The soldiers into the medical bay have just died. I don't know where the subject went. I think he's gone to find more of the crew. With him are Sith. They just appeared right out of thin air, like they were wearing stealth generators, but... I think they were always on board. When we stopped to pick up that freighter, they must have come on board the Harbinger. I have no idea how many are on the ship. There could be only a few, or as many as a hundred. And with communications cut off, we can't call for help. I think that thing in the tank was a Sith Lord, alive the whole time, waiting for something to wake him up. Yep. Medical logs, we'll just check them, right? Uh, camera recordings?
Okay, so that's what that was his uh, can you kill dispenser? Um, and we got some chemicals from that. Okay, good to know. And that was our cultural tank, I believe. Uh, no, I don't think so. More chemicals, okay. More chemicals here, I believe, right? Oh, some energy shield, med pack. Useful stuff. What do we have here? Medical droid. Can we fix it? Who has the best fixing skills? Repair skill. What's your... 7? 4? Yeah. Uh, no. Wait. I wasn't checking. 2. 0. Okay. Let's try to repair it. How many parts do we have? Quite a lot. Will it follow us and heal us? I think so. Exchange gloves. We can craft something here, but I don't think we need anything right now. Like, we have everything we need, pretty much. What do we have here? Light armor. Yeah, we don't need that. So this one leads to the bridge, right? Oh, engine deck, right. That's where we need to go. And this one leads... That's a store droid storage room. Oh, hello there, buddies. How about that? And why don't you throw a grenade at some of them? Not detonator, but a sonic grenade. And you... I know. Yeah. Okay. Now this one. And... River. Force lightning that guy. Okay, you... What are you doing? I hear you. Oh, what the hell? Rapid shot the guy. Okay, he's dead. Let's force this guy. I will silence this one. And force that guy. And take the gun. So what was in here? I hear you. Open, please. Storage room. Cool. I hope there's more than just one repair kit. Because that would be a disappointment. Melee shield, some parts, and components, and what do we have here? Like, some decent weapon would be nice. And another gloves. Mm. Are they the same with the demolition stuff like that? Actually, no, they're war gloves. They add dexterity. Um, sure, take them, why not? I mean, one dexterity doesn't actually add anything, and we don't have a pe person who can actually benefit from from it all that much. What do we have here? Oh. Is that all? Are there anybody behind up? Yep, there are some. But first, you shock this guy, you shock that guy. Yeah. I really need some more AoE. But I think AoE comes later. So it will not work. Just say the for word. some time as AoE. Oh! 
protocol droids, utility droids, and what do we have here? Battle armor, droid maintenance data pad, okay. I know where this HK-50 droid, whether this HK-50 droid is a gift or a curse. After destruction of previous protocol droid, when it accidentally activated, the fragment the HK has stepped into this its place without a hitch. The problem is it doesn't take commands very well, and most of the time, I have no idea where it's been. There's reports it's been sat in the crew quarters, with captain maintenance and even the med bay for of all places. And battle armor, that's that shiny battle armor. I think it's pretty good. Yeah, it's medium armor, and uh, I think Aton can actually benefit from it. This droid appears to have been purposely sabotaged. Okay. Oh, cool. Level up. Okay, that's good enough. He will benefit from uh, stealth quite a lot. What do you have to recommend me? Uh, I don't think she needs repairs. There's no point in that, actually. Well, she doesn't need stealth all that much as well, so... Feats. What will you recommend me? Toughness? Yeah, sure, that sounds good. And as for force powers... Stun droid, force cream... Okay, that's good enough. And this utility droids, they are just deactivated. Okay. And anything else in... Uh, I hear you. In like here? No? And this will just probably lead us to go around. And uh, don't really need that. So let's just go to the engine deck. And through... I believe through the thing. Thingamajig. I have a bad feeling about this. What's wrong? Don't you feel it? Something's gonna get real wrong real quick. We'll have to be careful then. But we have to keep moving. Alright, but don't say I didn't warn you. Trust me. When it comes to staying alive, I'm rarely wrong about these things. Okay, I didn't have special ability as well, so we need to save when he has a bad feeling about that. So where do we need to go? Well, straight, there's only one way. I believe we'll meet the... the scarred guy right now. Jedi, you know not what path you walk. This battle is mine alone. I am not defenseless. Okay. Good luck with he that. He cannot kill what he cannot see, and power has blinded him long ago. Run. I shall be along shortly. Whatever you say. So, where do we run? Here? How about here? Ah, uh, no, that's that's back. That's not where we need to go. Do we need to go here? What do we have here? Storage room. Yeah, that's definitely where we need to go. I hear you. can take care of herself. She's fine. She said it herself. Another battle armor. And security tunnel. Vibra blade, okay. Not that we'll need that. Let's reroute the maintenance control. And let's main open the maintenance door to the iron engines. Good. And let's log out. Good. So, where was it? Uh, up here? Uh, 
Uh, no, I don't think so. Looks like it's some other storage room. What not? Yep. Oh, well, there's a workbench here. We can probably use it. Probably can upgrade some armor. Pheromone package. I believe it will increase persuasion or something. Let's upgrade some armor. Can we upgrade it? Regeneration plus two, okay, that's good enough. And Chani Battle Armor. Okay, and here. Okay, that's not bad. Can we upgrade any ranged? Eh. Plus one to slashing. One to three versus droid. Let's just add general plus one to slashing. Massive criticals. Ah, what the hell. And that's all. Don't think we need to craft anything. Let's just get the hell out of here. Yep, that's the door that was opened by the storage room computer. And I believe it will lead us to... to the pipe that's leading us to the uh, Ibn Hawk. Yep, looks like it. There's a console here. Activate engine maintenance procedure. Good, and log out. That's where need we need to go. Tell me you're joking. We are not going to cross back into the Paragas facility through the fuel line. That's crazy. It's the only way to get uh, around the sealed doors into the hangar where Ibn Hawk is. And Atten, you need to trust me, come on. All right, but I know I'm going to regret this. I sense you, my master. Faint. Weak. Your senses betray you, as you betrayed me. After all that's happened, still you live. You are difficult to kill. For one as limited as you, perhaps. To have fallen so far and learned nothing, that is your failing. The failure is yours. No longer do your whispers crawl within my skull. No longer do I suffer beneath teachings that weaken us. And now you run in search of the Jedi. They are all dead, save one. And one broken Jedi cannot stop the darkness that is to come. Perhaps we shall see. Yeah, that was quite anticlimactic. <laughs> <laughs> actually what, what's wrong are you all right damn it hold on it's only a little farther don't give up on me now what happened to you Kray, i think she was wounded badly huh how do you know that i think it was through the force look if she's in pain then that pain's buying us time we can't afford to waste Especially if sleeps with vibroblades gets tired of playing with her and decides to use us for practice next. All right, let's go. Let's get the hell out of here. Whew. Okay, guys, I think I'll make a cut here and we'll continue in the next episode. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And goodbye.